Sagittarius, this is Nikki. I'm here for your love reading. I hope it resonates with you. It will be a timeless message. So whenever you see it, I hope you're able to, to relate with it, okay? We're starting with the page of sorts. That's just for the Sagittarian when it comes to love, please, spirit. Sagittarian love reading, please. You have the page of sorts. Maybe you have a stalker. Maybe somebody's watching you. Maybe you're uh, maybe talking to someone online here. Okay, it doesn't have to be, though. And it's a burden. You know, whatever it is, or whoever you're talking to, it's not turning out the way it should have or the way you would have hoped for it to turn out. Okay? Maybe this is giving some negative energy towards you. Okay? It's like I'm, I'm starting to focus on this a little bit too much. I need to end this relationship. I see you moving on. Okay? With We have the death card, the chariot, and we have the... Uh, the five of pen, the, the five of pentacles. I'm sorry. This probably is a codependent relationship. This person is bothering you a little bit too much. Like I said, maybe they're, they're doing some stalkering or communicating with you too much, and you get you just tired of it. You're tired of the messages, the text messages, them stopping by your house or your job or whatever. They just won't leave you alone. Putting notes on your car. Okay, and enough is enough. Love reading for Sagittarius, please. See deception. Someone in this in this uh, relationship is wearing a false mask. You didn't know that this person was, was as codependent as she was or as he was. You know, they're stalking you. You know, they're causing you problems. You're not being able to get any rest because your phone either rings or somebody texts you throughout the night or whatever. They just won't leave you alone. What did what did you do to this person? Because we have unrequited love. There's not enough uh, attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. And you probably have told this person this, but a person, this person can't take no for an answer. Okay. What's going on with this person, please, when it comes to Sagittarius and love, please? What's going on with this relationship? This heavy energy with Sagittarius and a person who wants them. Okay. Getting to know uh, each other as you reveal your innermost uh, bonds with each other. As you enter, as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens, but it didn't because there's not enough chemistry. You realize this from, from day one or from when you started communicating with this person, but this person doesn't seem to get that picture, okay? You deserve love somewhere else outside of this connection, you know, and you're ready for that, but you don't want to go out and meet somebody and bring them into your life with all of this foolishness going on, you know? You just don't feel the same way about that person as that person feels about you. You turn, you've turned your head to this person. Uh, you've done everything to make this person know that you don't love them, that you don't want to be in a relationship with them. But for whatever reason, they keep holding on. They keep holding out hope, uh, Sagittarius, that you would change your mind, that you would that you would want to be in a relationship with them. But it's just not happening. You don't want them, and you don't want to hurt their feelings. But you're tired of of, of their nonsense. You know. You know, you're tired of it. You know, you feel like like this person won't listen. You feel the whole like the whole world is on your shoulders. All in a while, your person wants this new pathway. They want you in their life. They want to make you a part of 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 their family. But enough is enough. You need to cut this person short. What you've done, you've done everything in your any anything everything in your power to get away from this person. But they just keep on coming. You you stopped communicating. You left this person in a cold. They're very, very codependent, okay? And we have, you know, you saw you ever laid eyes on this person or met this person, but you do have new, a new pathway. You have another pathway, despite the fact of what's going on here, okay? Going into hermit mode, you know, screening your phone calls, you know, and, and you, <laughs> you know, it's like you're screening your phone calls because you know this codependent person doesn't know how to take no for an answer. Well, I just want to see how you're doing, I know you said that we don't that you don't want to be in a relationship with me, but can we just be friends or can we talk? Can you just tell me why you don't want to be with me? And you're reflecting on this and you're just saying enough is enough, you know, and, and you're like, you know, I, I wish I would have known how to, you know, how deceptive you were. Or I wish I would have known before I got involved with you that you were a hot mess, you know, and you know that you have to find somewhere to go because eventually it's going to get to the point to where it probably already has got to this tower moment. OK. And you don't know you don't know how else to 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 do. You don't know what else to do and what else to say to this person without hurting them and causing a tower moment in, in their life because they've already caused a tower moment in yours. And enough is enough. It, it just blew you away when you found out that, that this was unrequited love. OK. But you tried to give this person the benefit of the doubt and just walk away. But they kept on coming. You know, so you like 
Look here, Rebecca. Or whoever. You know, this is this is not a this is I can't do this anymore. Please let's give this relationship a chance. Please, I love you, I care about you. How can you love me? We only dated like a month, if that much. You know, but this person doesn't know how to take no for an answer. Scorpio. I'm sorry, Sagittarius. Maybe they're a Scorpio. And we gotta express our love. Go ahead and make that romantic gesture. The universe says, despite of whatever that it is that you're going through with this person, go ahead and live your life the way you need to live it, the way you want to live it. Okay, this person will eventually get the picture and move on with their lives. Okay, just give this person space like you've been doing, and they'll eventually let it go. Okay, you may have to involve the, the law, you know, maybe to keep this person out of your out of your way, but for the most part, let it go because you're here. Express your love. Go ahead and make that romantic gesture because you do have love coming in. Okay, Sagittarius, despite what you're going through with this shoulda, coulda, woulda with this person, you wish this person could leave you alone. You wish you would have never met this person. I wish this person could have uh, felt the way I felt and walked away from this relationship or whatever. You still got that two of cups behind you right there. And here he is and here she is. Go ahead and make that romantic gesture. Let this side of your life go, and eventually it'll she'll she'll he she or he will disappear, and you can move on with your life. But move on to, with your life in the meantime. Okay, make that romantic gesture. If you see somebody you want to get to know, holler at them, holler at your boy, holler at your girl. All right, 